primary health care nurse practitioner, works in the community in places like doctor's offices, community health centers, clinics. We are nurses, first and foremost. We also have authority to do a variety of functions that were traditionally associated with doctors, such as ordering a variety of medications, laboratory tests, x-rays, um, and following up with people over time. Do as nurse practitioners is health promotion and illness prevention and uh, dealing with episodic illnesses um, and management or co-management of uh, chronic illnesses. And uh, what, what is it that nurse practitioners... Providing a full range of services, helping people in the community maintain healthy lifestyles. Nurse practitioners also influence policies on health care to keep your family and community in good health. I was your typical high school student that really didn't know what they wanted to do. Um, you know, senior year rolled around and it was like, man, I better figure something out. You know, college is approaching quickly. I knew that I wanted to work in the healthcare field. You know, I just really like working with people. I've always been someone that uh, likes building relationships and connecting with people. And working as a PA, I have that privilege and the honor of working with people on a daily basis. I get to uh, build relationships, establish rapport, things like that. It's a rapidly growing field. It's a field where you can make uh, a decent salary, a decent living. Also, you know, with being a PA, you're always challenged. Science and medicine, it's a very uh, challenging field. There's a ton of information out there. And uh, I feel that that's important to challenge yourself on a daily basis. A lot of people don't actually know what a PA is. It's actually a healthcare provider that has a lot of responsibility and is able to do a lot in the medical field. And they practice uh, medicine under the guidance of a supervising physician. The program itself requires two years of prerequisite work then you have to get a certain amount of medical exposure hours. So those would be the first two years is just getting all that prerequisite stuff done and getting your interview, getting accepted in the program. Once you're in the program, you have the junior year, which consists of just a lot of in-class work as well as lab work and work in the cadaver lab. It's three semesters, uh, high credit loads and long hours and a lot of studying, but it's certainly worth it. You learn a lot during that junior year, um, which certainly helps you in your senior year during your clinical rotations. The senior year is nine clinical rotations. You have family practice, pediatrics, internal medicine, OBGYN, psychiatry, surgery, emergency medicine, primary care, and you also get to choose an elective. You can choose a specialty that you like and go spend a month there, see if that's what you actually like, if you're not interested in one of the other areas.